Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us here on a beautiful day in the Black Mountains at a wonderful shop called Hopes of Long Time. So today we're going to be showing you, hold that up, Sue, how to cook the most amazing local lamb. We're going to be showing you how to cook a leg, joint, butterflied, and some amazing kebabs. So let me just take that and I'll show you up close what we're cooking. So can you see that? So we've got here the most amazing joint and we've got some beautiful lamb kebabs. And what's the dressing, Sue? The dressing's just um, uh, a mixture of some preserved lemon and parsley, mixed Ooh, with a little bit juice. of um, rapeseed oil as well to just make a, okay. a lovely dressing. And that's actually the marinade as well that's gone into the lamb. Okay, so keep tuned and we're gonna show you how to make this. So Sue, what are we gonna make first? What right. are we gonna do? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is, is bone the leg of lamb out. Well, in my haste preparing, I actually got carried away and boned it completely. But the lamb. Let's have a look. Let's go. Let's have a bit of a close-up okay. on that, Sue. So, okay. So. The lamb sat. So you normally get bone. your yeah you you get your leg of lamb as you all know, and it's like a triangle shape with a bone coming out at the end, isn't it? So with your little sharp knife, it is basically just to work the meat away off the bone, around the knuckle area, and right down to the tail end here. Okay. It's very simple because you actually need your knife just to let it do the work across the bone. If you really feel that you can't do this, um, your butcher will do it for you and they'll be very happy to do it. But it's not a precision thing, is it? I mean, no, don't be scared. I mean, the thing about our cookouts is, you know, we are out here today doing it on our lap. So please don't be scared. Really, get yourself a sharp knife. Isn't sharp that, knife is, is, is key, absolutely. Okay. And every knife is very different. And you get to you know which type of knife suits you. Okay. I like a little tiny paring knife like this. Okay. And it's small and I hold it in my hand here. A lot of people tend to hold their knives up here. Okay. You've got no control over your knife. So okay. get down here, hold it really firmly and just let the knife do the work okay. over the bone. Okay. So just taking it out and then we can just discard the bone. Okay, give it to your dog. <laughs> yep. I'll just pop it down in there. Out of the okay, way. right. So then we've got our lamb out. I've also wanted to take, actually, change my knife, a little bit of the lamb off to make our kebabs. So I'm just utilizing this lovely leg of lamb that we have got from Hopes of Long Town. It's all been grown locally. Yeah, it's really important. Christine was telling us early that they have um, shop local 30 miles. So everything they buy at Hopes of Long Town, um, well, a lot of the things they buy, wherever they can, is within 30 miles. So this lamb um, falls into that category. So we're delighted to have that. And it's beautiful. This would have been last season's lamb. So 2018, it would have okay. been born. Um, there is new season's lamb. Um, out at the moment it's just starting okay. to come into the shops okay but I think sort of certainly for barbecuing this night I think you need to have just the lamb just a little bit older and it really will be quite delicious okay um, right in my bowl here I've already got some lamb marinating for the kebabs okay um, and so what's what have you put in the marinade because of course we've got 20 minutes a day we're delighted for you to, to stay with us for 20 minutes but you know this will take longer to cook so how long would you marinate it for? Mar any marinade really needs to stay um, in the meat for for about sort of three to four hours, and if you can do it um, overnight, then that's even better. So all those lovely flavours okay. just get into the the meat and really gives it a lovely flavour. Okay. So we've got some oregano, garlic, and um, olive oil or rapeseed oil in oh, here, and it smells delicious. So that's going to go <laughs> in, and I'm just going to wriggle that around just so that the meat gets coated, and I'm just going to put that to one side just for a moment. Okay. We're going to go back to our leg of lamb, which I want to just butterfly out. Okay. So you can see that whoops, this part is quite thick. Hang on, here. let's go, let's just... That little bit there okay. is really quite thick. So we want to just even that out and just make it a little bit thinner so that we get it evenly cooked all the way through. So I've just opened it out. Okay, and right, so yeah, just, just open, open it out, it just out. keep yeah. opening it out. Right, so, so you don't have to cut it off. So it all becomes flat. Okay. So as you can see, it really is about two or three centimetres thick all the way around. Okay. So that will cook nice and evenly. Excuse okay. the cars in the background. This needs to be popped into a marinade as well. Okay. And this marinade is made with um, preserved lemons. 
and some capers, rapeseed oil and garlic. When so you say preserved lemons, Sue, what does that mean? The lemons have been um, preserved in a, a brine, a salted brine. Right, okay. And they sort of almost, they don't dehydrate, but they sort of just take on that salty flavour. Right, but okay. But you still get that zingy, zestiness of a lemon. Oh, it sounds delicious. Okay. Um, so just something slightly different. Okay. I've got... Um, thyme in here as well, but you could use mint as well. Mint goes terribly well with lamb, so yeah, does of course thyme. it does. Yeah. So all those lovely soft herbs are very good with lamb. So I'm just going to massage that into the lamb. And again, we're we're out here. It's a beautiful day. You could do this on your lap. Obviously, you know, if you're in the kitchen, you can do that and bring it out. But it's great if you've got friends and you want to have a drink and just. You know, do this while you're talking. You know, it's, it's easy to do. You'd really want to marinate the lamb a good two or three hours before you start cooking, right. ideally. So okay. we are going to rush this a little bit, but you'll get the idea. And, and there'll be a little bit of a flavour there. Okay. So, I'll put that in there. Oh, that looks delicious. Yes. And then I'm going to use some skewers now to thread through the lamb. And so these are some skewers that our amazing blacksmith um, Steve Lloyd has made. So these are really nice strong um, skewers. They've just got a, a loop on each end and it's a new um, product for us. So we will be taking some of those out to the shows and there could be a chance for you to win some of those so that you can try this yourself. So how many of them are we going to so use, I'm Sue? I'm going to put about three or four actually. Okay. Because it just gives the whole lamb some stability when it's okay. on the barbecue instead of it flopping around. Okay. And it, it, it will keep it nice and flat as well. Okay. And also it, it gives you a little bit of something to actually grab hold of to turn. Okay. So, I'll see how so is looks. there a trick to that? I mean, you've put two across and one in. That's one, just. And I'm going to just do another one across the. That okay. way as well. So I've actually put four. Okay. So just flattening it out. So it's all. Okay. The same. Okay, let's just get a close up of that. that. Yeah, they're amazing. Okay, okay. We just turned it right. So okay. that's going to go onto the barbecue now, skin side down. Remember, obviously, I would have let this marinate for about three or four hours before I actually put it on the barbecue. Okay. Or on the griddle. Yeah. So there we go, and it really is sizzling away. So in our marinade, I've got preserved lemons, I've got some capers, um, thyme, and some garlic. Wonderful. So how long is, do you think that's going to take to cook? should take about 40, 30 to 40 minutes, all depending on, the, again, the thickness of the lamb. Okay. So 30 to 40 minutes. So this is going to be, and we're going to turn that frequently, aren't we? Yes, we are. So just to get a nice, even um, coating across it. And so that's probably going to go a little bit crispy, isn't it? It will. Yes, the skin will go crispy, depending, okay. again, leg of, leg of lamb generally doesn't have too much fat on there but the, the internal fat will actually help to um, uh, baste the lamb as well and keep it nice and moist and we don't really okay. want too intense heat okay um, because we want to let it cook nice and relatively slowly so that it doesn't char too much on the outside okay that's great right so while we are um, letting that cook i wanted to tell you a little bit about um, how you can win a cookout at your house so to celebrate the launch of our new website which is www.thewoody.com um, we are going to hit the road and go on a road trip and we would like to bring our woody fire pits to you and we're going to bring some delicious local produce and we're going to bring some lamb and some beef we're going to make paella we're going to do absolutely loads of beautiful things for you and to win that all you have to do is to go to our website and fill in the entry form and if you go to um to our blog it'll show you how to do it there so really you need what do you need to have you need to have an outdoor space that we can come and cook at and you need to be available on Friday the 17th of May at one o'clock and probably a couple of hours before will we prepare for you. So it is a chance for you to have a live cookout for you and five friends. So please enter now and have a look at our new website and please tell your friends. So we would love, wouldn't we Sue? Yeah, we would be love great, to, great to do it. yeah, great to come and do a cookout with you. So let us know if you've got any dietary requirements and where you are. Lovely. Okay, so what are we right. going to do so now, Sue? The next so? thing we're going to move on is, um, is just to get the kebabs together. Okay. So remember we've got our diced lamb that we've already been marinated 
in the oregano and oil. Okay. So, and a little bit of garlic. So lamb, garlic, oregano, thyme, parsley, mint, all okay. those sort of herbs and spices and uh, uh, ingredients all go so well together. Okay. So, so I'm could... just going to show a couple. So what I've got in my bowl here already prepared is some lemon quarters, okay. the wedges, some cubes of red pepper and some bay leaf. And I've got some bay leaf which actually I've picked from my tree this morning. So again, really simple ingredients. Very, we're not trying simple. to overwhelm no. you with too many different things that you need to cook with. Hopefully these are things that you know you have to hand or that you can get really easily. Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, using the skewers, I start off with the lemon, then some red pepper, and then okay. a cube of lamb. Okay. And you can see and then I'm going to put a bay leaf on. Okay, so that just adds to the flavour, doesn't it? It does. And indeed, again, yeah. using our beautiful um, hand forged skewers from Steve R. Blacksmith. And then you just keep repeating the sequence. Okay. And I like to put about four pieces of meat on. So, okay. So, while Sue's doing that, today we are cooking over a wood fire. So, I will just, uh, while Sue's doing that, just sneak down in so you can see that the logs that we're using um, have really gone a lovely grey now so they're not really huge flames depending on the type of cooking that you're going to do you have different types of heat um, and sometimes we cook on charcoal but today we're cooking on our partners um, wood from certainly wood who are based in Madley and so they as you can see Sue's putting those down now so kiln dried wood is always the best so you want when you're using wood the drier the better. Wet wood will smoke, so kiln dried wood has a very low water content and we find it's the best to use and we're delighted to work with certainly wood. So how are you getting on there Sue? Yep, so we're just, just uh, putting some more on. on yep. Okay, so you can see though, I don't often talk about this, but you can see our grill there. Um, we're currently cooking on a 600mm woody fire pit. So the grill is made out of stainless steel um, we've got the butterfly joint on the grill area and Sue has put the kebabs onto the hot plate. So this is really great. So if we had a big flame going here, this would protect it slightly, but it's really hot. So it's nicely searing that on there as we go now. This is lovely. It's doing a great job. The, the grill can come off when you're not using it. So you can just then have it as a fire pit. And can you see the oak leaves around the side? I always like to point this out. The oak leaves, we've got a little bit of, um, of wind coming in here, but the oak leaves draw the air in. So wood draws from the side. So to give it the most fantastic burn for your fire pit, this will, get, will house it beautifully. And then, um, as Sue and Sarah, who joined us from the Countryside Alliance, will, will say, there's lovely warmth coming from that around our legs. So it's a really great thing to keep us warm, um, you know, while you're cooking. So if it's a bit of a, a cold day, then it's wonderful that you can sit outside. So you can use your fire pit any point. You know, we don't tend to use it in the rain so much, but the snow is amazing. You can use it in the snow. So, you know, it, it's designed to be for all year round. Yeah. So what are we doing now, right, Sue? So we've got all the kebabs um, on the bar, on the, the griddle now. And okay. I'm just going to turn the lamb over. Okay, you said that's going to get really hot. The, be careful when you turn it over because, of course, the metal of the skewers is going to get really hot. So just be really careful. Yeah, and you can see we're just getting a nice char on there. It hasn't gone black, which is really what you don't want at this stage of the cooking. Okay. Because if it gets too hot too soon, you're just going to end up with this very sort of quite burnt. Right, okay. So we're just wanting to try and just get a nice even cooking all the way through. Nice and crispy on the nice outside. Nice and crispy on the outside, but that will develop as we keep going. Okay. Remember, it's only probably been on for five, ten minutes. Yeah, so, um, yeah about ten minutes, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we need to... So uh, we're, what, we're gonna, what we're aiming to do with this is to get a really succulent joint so that it's really lovely in the centre and crispy on the outside. So there we have That's it. It's just cooking really nicely. Okay. Just... So how long do you think the kebabs will take to? The kebabs will be about 10 minutes. So not again, not too long, depending on the heat of your barbecue or your griddle. Um, 
we've got this. It's around, the fire is just uh, around about 200 degrees. I have got a little thermometer in here just so that you get a rough yeah. idea of that. We found that, that with the cooking the bread, didn't we? We did. Get yourself a little oven thermometer. They're about 50 pence. They're metal, and it gives you a real idea um, of the temperature. And you can just sit it in the cold. You do. You? Yeah, it's just sat in the corner here. I think my I probably we have got this one a bit hot. Whether it's as accurate as it was. I'm not okay. really sure, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, we we did give it a bit of a workout the other day when we were playing with the with with the fire pit. So okay, uh, um, and we like to do that a lot at the we Woody. Do. We do. We like Cooking. to have fun and try we do. different things. So that's uh, so there we have it. So I haven't the, the 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 lamb has been marinated in some oil, so I haven't actually added any more oil. There should be enough there to sort of keep it from sticking off on the on the, the griddle there. So one of the things um, we were saying earlier is that this is local lamb. So we're in Herefordshire and one of the things that we always do um, when we go out to do our live cookouts is cook local produce. So this time we're cooking local lamb that's been um, born and bred on a local Herefordshire farm and it reduced our food miles, it's really sustainable but of course you know Please visit your local butcher if you can. You know, go out, talk to them about good cuts of meat. As Sue said earlier, they will um, bone a joint for you. They'll give you some really good ideas. So please support them. Talking to Sarah for Countryside Alliance, saying about how important it is to support local butchers and the great things they do um, for farming and for the local community. So please, if you can, not everyone's gonna be able to get a lovely Herefordshire lamb, but go out and get your lamb from wherever you are in the country. Right, so I'm just going to um, do a couple of dressings. This one I've already made. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a. Yeah, can I have a close up of that? You can. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sort of. Can you see that? So, so tell me what's in there, Sue. So we've got some pres chopped preserved lemons again. Okay. We've got lots of thyme and parsley, garlic, oh. and some rapeseed oil, which we like to use local rapeseed oil as okay. well. Okay. Uh, just because. Ooh. Ooh, oh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Okay, so that will that's to go to serve with the 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 leg of lamb there, and then I'm just going to make another simple um, dressing or, or dip, I suppose it is. Okay, to go with the kebabs, and okay. I've got cucumber in this bowl, and it's okay. a uh, tzatziki, yep. which I'm sure many Ooh, of you lovely. know what it's all about. Very Greek. Very Greek. Cucumber which actually I've salted to, to remove, you know how cucumber can be terribly watery? Right. So I've salted it um, for about 30 minutes, squeeze all the, the water out, and I've just popped that into a bowl. I'm going to add some yoghurt to that. Okay, does it matter what sort of yoghurt you use? Um, I'm using a Greek yoghurt, so quite a okay. thick yoghurt. Okay. But you can just use um, any, any yoghurt that you've got. So it's got to be plain, obviously. Okay. So plain yoghurt. So a couple of spoons okay. of that has gone in. Okay, then move over to our little table there. Um, oh, I've got a board here. I'm going to actually chop some lovely fresh mint. Okay, of course, that goes mint. well. So this Easter, so Easter Easter is Sunday, obviously. And so if you haven't yet decided what you're going to do, why don't you cook outside? It's going to be the most amazing Easter weekend. Fire up your woody fire pit, or if you've got another fire pit or a um, another outdoor fire, fire it up and get cooking and so have lamb in a different way um, this Easter. So you can see ours coming along here and um, Sue our chef there is doing an amazing job of chopping up that mint. So if you would like a copy of our new brochure please get in touch. You can email me at louise at the you can call us on 01981 550 or my mobile is 07553 361 864. If you would like to order yourself a fire pit, um, we get them all made locally um, in Herefordshire. So currently they take in about four to five weeks to make. So we can have one for the early part of the summer for you. Think of the things that you could make. So what are we chopping so up I'm now? I'm just Sue? chopping a little bit of small clove of garlic. Just okay. To Go into the sauce. Okay. That looks amazing. And some mint. I'm just chop chopping it all together. So Bill Davis has asked, are you free on Sunday? 
<laughs> Bill, enter our competition um, to take a barbecue to you for you and five friends. So on the 17th of May, we could be coming and doing a live cookout with amazing local food at your house. So enter now on our website at www.thewoodeat.com. A little bit of pepper. Okay. I'm not going to add any salt at this stage because obviously we'd salted the, the cucumber. Okay. So there would be still residue of cucumber. Uh, and that's the lovely. Uh, uh, okay. To taste. Obviously, it's always very important whenever you're doing any food, it's tasting is important. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be doing a bit more taste in a minute. We're about mm. 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. We've got a couple yeah, more lovely. minutes if you stay with us so that we can show you um, how it is cooked. So we're going to keep turning our kebabs. So we yep, think I'm about another. A little bit of a turn now. Okay. And then we are going to be doing some tasting. So look at that. Can you so, see? Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just do the kebabs. Again, I'm not rushing them. I think we tend to sort of, when we're ever cooking outside, we do tend to rush and cook our food too quickly, so yeah. you really do need to be patient. And that lamp, let's have that over. Oh, that looks good. As you can see, it really is just starting to, to colour nicely. Yeah. So let's have a closer of that. Lovely. So, I'm sure it's coming to the end of your lunchtime now. So we're going to show you what it looks like. Yep. We're going to dig in and we're going to get Sarah from the Countryside Alliance to dig in and do some um, tasting. So while this one is finishing, we've done our blue Peter trick of having one yep. that we've made earlier. So we're going to carry on. You can probably hear the, um, the lamb sizzling away. And so, Sue, let's get, let's get Sarah doing some tasting of yep. this and okay. seeing what it's like. So, it's got a little nice, there we go. It looks fantastic. It smells amazing. I just cut yes. oh. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm just quite conscious that I'm going to drop it all oh, on the floor. Fine. But yeah. So. <laughs> so. So that's absolutely lovely. We'll get our fingers in there. So I might come round there and let's have a try. So there we are. Oh, oh, and you can actually just oh, squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of the lamb as well there. And what I'm going to do is just put some of the tzatziki sauce as well. Okay. Ooh. And now, there we go. Sarah and I are going to dig in. There you go, ladies. You do <laughs> that. So, let's have a little bit of that. And Ooh, just use just it as a dip. Oh, yeah, I think lovely. so. We're outside. We're. Ooh, I'll try some tzatziki. Yeah, that's mm. amazing. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, thumbs up. Bit, you uh, could be doing this this Sunday. So we're going to post the recipe later. In the meantime, enjoy your lunch, and we'll enjoy mm. ours. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. -bye.